It's always a good day when motorcycle parts show up in the mail. And today, got the Clockworks Dynamat Sound Control Kit. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw that in my uh, 2019 Road Glide Special here and see how well it works. Step one is make sure that we have all the parts. So I got everything laid out here, including my free Clockworks sticker. And we're all set to go. We got all the pieces. So now next thing we're gonna do is uh, we're going to take off the fairing and uh, clean it up. Harley's made it pretty easy to take off the fairings on the new road glides. So the first step is we're gonna pop off these four windshield uh, screws. Next, you just pop off this uh, top piece here and then you disconnect the signals here and here. The next step is removing the two sets of torque screws on either side of the fairing near the bottom. Next, you need to remove the speaker grills, which if you're a professional, you'll have a pick tool and you'll put it in here and pop it off. If you're like me, an unprofessional, you'll carefully use a uh, flathead screwdriver and pop it off. Now that both speaker grills are off, we can get at these bolts right here, which we will loosen and then move to the final step. The final step is to remove these two screws here uh, on either side of the signals and then the fairing will come off. All right, so the next step is really important. We need to clean both this part of the fairing here as well as the inside of the fairing to make sure that the dynamat pieces adhere to the plastic. So I'm gonna go and uh, wipe everything down and then uh, let it dry a little bit. Now that I've got the fairing off and clean and propped up in this uh, super professional manner, the next step is to put the Dynamat pads on there. So as you can see, both Clockworks and Dynamat provided a pretty easy identification and instruction sheet of exactly where everything needs to go. So this should be pretty easy. All right, I got the first layer of the inside of the fairing done. Um, these large pieces right here were the most challenging uh, because you got a number of different things in the way. Uh, you have, it's got to fit there against the lip for the headlight. Up here to the bolt bracket, it's got to fit underneath there. And then you kind of have to avoid these wings and also the edge where it seals against the inner fairing and then that piece down there. So those two pieces were the most challenging. Um, but everything else went on pretty smoothly, so happy with that. Um, so next is these three pieces here, which are going to here, 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 and up here. So here you go. That's what it looks like. All right, there's four more pieces. Two go on this side, two go on the other side, and then we're all ready to go and start putting things back together. there we go that's all the pieces so now we're gonna put it back together all right everything's back on it's all good to go so now it's time to go take a test ride and see how it works but we'll say the one thing that uh, to be very careful of especially when you're starting to put everything back on, is that that padding, the thicker pad that goes on the top here, that has to be back a little bit. If you put it too far forward, 
the fairing is not going to fit back in place. So you gotta make sure that it's back a little bit. But once you do that, um, everything fit perfectly. So it's, uh, we're ready to roll and go test it out. So I took it out on a little bit of a run and uh, got it up on the freeway and definitely could tell a difference uh, between the sound quality from my run before I put the Dynamat um, pads on there from Clockworks. So overall pretty happy with um, how it just helped with that distortion. Um, you know, it was definitely, music was definitely clear, um, and especially as I got up onto the freeway, um, it, it just felt and sounded a lot better. So overall, I'm pretty happy with this upgrade, and, and you know, it only took me, took me less than an hour uh, to do it all. So pretty awesome. Excited to get out and uh, do some more riding today.